Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here is information about online seminars and study manuals that uh, for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actual program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P on probability. In a large population of patients, 20% have early stage cancer, 10% have advanced stage cancer, and the other 70% do not have cancer. Six patients from this population are randomly selected. Calculate the expected number of selected patients with advanced stage cancer given that at least one of the selected patients has early stage cancer. And here's the solution. So let us write X and Y for the random number of selected patients with early stage and advanced age, advanced stage cancer, respectively. We want to find the expected value of Y given that X is greater than or equal to 1. Well, the expected value of Y in general, is the probability that x is 0 times the expected value of y given that x is 0 plus uh, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 times the expected value of y given that x is greater than or equal to 1. And now we note that the uh, probability that x is 0 is 1 minus 0 0.2 to the 6 because the probability of picking um, no patients with um, early stage cancer is um, 1 minus 0.2 for each one of them and it happens six times. So this is 0 0.8 8 to the sixth. Probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 is 1 minus the probability that x is 0, so it's 1 minus 0 0.8 to the sixth. Also we know that E of y is 6 times 0 0.1, so 0 0.6 because there are six patients and each has a chance of 0 0.1 of having advanced stage cancer. Additionally, given that none of the selected patients has early stage cancer, so given that x is 0, the conditional probability that one of the six selected patients has advanced stage cancer is, uh, for each of the six patients independently of each other, 0 0.1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.2. 0 0.1 is the probability of um, picking um, a... Um, um, patient with advanced stage cancer and 1 minus 0 0.2 is a uh, probability of not picking a patient with early stage cancer. So conditional on x equal to 0, the number of patients among the 6 who have advanced stage cancer follows the binomial distribution with n equal to 6 and p equal to 0.125. That's 1 8. This implies the expected value of y, given that x is 0, is 6 times 0 0.125, which is 0 0.75. So we conclude that the expected value of y, given that x is greater than 1, is derived from this formula that we wrote here, just by solving for this quantity here that we're looking for, and that's equal to e of um, y um, minus uh, probability at x is 0 times expected value of y, given that x is 0, the whole thing divided by probability that x is greater than or equal to 1. And that's equal to 0.6 minus 0 0.8 to the 6th times 0 0.75 over 1 minus 0 0.8 to the 6th, and that's approximately 0 0.5467083, and that's answer C. Please remember uh, that this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.